Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean Austin here from Sean's Rabbit Train Aquaponic Produce and we're back with another rabbit farming video for you guys. Today, we're going to be taking it a little light. We're going to do some cooking. Yeah. So we're going to try our hand at a jerk rabbit. So stay tuned for some deliciousness and we'll be back right after the intro. Okay guys, we're back. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know much about jerk. So, for the past couple of days, I've enlisted in the University of YouTube and done several studies on the topic. I looked at numerous videos of different persons doing jerk. I'll admit a lot of them were Jamaican, you know, although, you know, I don't really want to give a certain Jamaican crew. You know, too much, uh, you know, fuel for the fire now. Right? We will talk more about that later. You know, so we did some research, as they say. You know, and now we're going to give this a try. Right? All this is leading up to a certain event that we have planned for you guys. You know, concerning uh, a certain um rabbit farming crew out of jamaica i won't call the name just as yet you know but they know who they are so you know we tuning up so let me give this a try here now i downloaded a recipe off the internet let's see what we have here all right this recipe called for a number of things you know i have a bowl here with some lovely stuff some onions some garlic ginger some thyme, a bit of nutmeg, some other stuff. So let's get to putting that together and see how this all turns out. Okay, let me consult my list here. My list here says uh, vegetable oil. Uh, I don't have any. I put in a little sesame oil. Four tablespoons of vinegar. We're not really going to measure that. Pimento seeds. Now I don't have any pimento seeds. I can already hear the Jamaicans in the comment section. Oh, if it doesn't have any pimento, it's not real jerk. But that's okay. We're doing a Trini style jerk. I don't think pimento grows here. I've never seen it growing here in Trinidad. Uh, there are a few spice stores that sell it, but none of them in my area. So I didn't get a chance to go look for any of that. So we're working without it. It says here some brown sugar, one head of garlic. Right, I already have my garlic peeled. I'm ready to go. All right. Uh, ginger, right? Ginger is already cut up and peeled as also. Onion, a whole onion. There we go. Some size, you know. It's in Jamaica. I think they call scallion. Some thyme. Uh, get in there. All right. A bit of nutmeg, you know. I'm gonna make them a little greater thing here. Mm -hmm. Set one lime. And of course, normally we'd use some scotch bonnet peppers. But I'm not gonna make this one spicy because uh, I'm not sure who are going to be my samplers. And everyone has a different tolerance for pepper. So I'm gonna add a bit of soy sauce here for some color right. look at that oh yes loveliness okay now that we have our juke seasoning ready we're going to need a volunteer okay so i don't know who it's going to be as yet but we're gonna find a volunteer, but I will need to obviously change my jersey a bit. You know? I don't want to get heads all dirty, so let's see how quick we could get this done. <laughs> hey, that was quick. Okay, so we found a volunteer. This little guy has been complaining all week 
you know, he's so, he's so tired of this life. He's so bored. He wish someone would just put him out of his misery. He seems a bit depressed, you know? So it's only right that we do the honorable thing and we help him out, okay? Okay, so I finished processing our little friend. Thank you for your service. Now it's just to uh, season him up. Stuff on here. Oh, that looking good. Woo! I'm sweating. Okay, now all that's left is for us to get a fire going. Okay, I don't have any coals, so we're gonna just be using wood. Fortunately, we have an abundant supply of lumber on the property here, so I always have dry wood stacked and cut up too. Let's get that fire going. Okay, so this is my improvised outdoor grill. Very simple, nothing too fancy. Like I say, we're keeping it light and let's see if we can get our fire going. Okay guys, so we have our fire coming along nicely there. Just gonna wait for some of that wood to burn out a bit. Make a few coals. Then we're gonna spread that out and we're gonna get that meat on the grill. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so while the fire is coming along, let me give you all a little context. You know, uh, we're gonna try to get this fire nice and hot get that wood burning create some coal and then we're gonna spread that out to even out the heat a bit and we're gonna try to get that rabbit on the grill so that we can probably have like about 20 minutes on each side it's a whole rabbit we're gonna be grilling it whole and then afterwards we're gonna cut it up for serving so we're gonna try to get approximately 20 minutes on each side with a nice even heat remember the fire mustn't be too big because we don't want to burn the meat before it cooks because we haven't pre-cooked this at all we're cooking it from raw so we want a nice slow heat to cook it and give it a nice color without burning along the way obviously we're going to be basting with the remainder of our seasoning we're going to make a bit of sauce with that that we're going to continue to baste it along the way because we know that rabbit is a very lean meat so we don't want it to dry out whilst on the grill. So we're going to keep it moist with the extra sauce that we have there. And we're going to see how it turns out. I mean, this is actually my first real attempt at doing jerk. So, like I said, we haven't stuck to any specific script. We just sort of winging it. You know, but it's all in the fun of doing it. So even if it doesn't come out 100% perfect, we're still going to eat it. You know, but we're hoping for the best though. So... And like I said earlier, I, I think at this stage here, it's safe to call the name, you know, this, this crew out of Jamaica, boy, this rabbit farming crew, JSH, boy, you're yeah, calling all your name, boy. You yeah, know, these fellas and them have it in their head that, you know, they could do everything rabbit better than the Trinis. But that's typical of Jamaicans, they always have a kind of confident kind of way about them. I respect that, you know. But Trinis, we just as proud. We are going down without a fight. So here we're going on. Tune up. We're going in. Okay, guys, so we up and running. All right, now we're gonna just introduce some, some bay leaves into this fire here for a little flavor, you know. Yeah, leave the excess right there. So, and we're gonna make a impromptu cover with a banana leaf. You know, that's how we do it in Trinidad. So we up and running. 
So for the base, we're gonna use the remainder of the jerk seasoning that we had there. I just added a touch more of um, vegetable oil to help with the moisture and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce. And that's gonna be our base. Oh yes guys, so time to make the first turn. Let's see how we're looking. Oh yeah baby. Yeah we're looking good. Okay, let's get at some sauce. Mm. You guys are burnt out with a fresh cover and we go in again. Hey okay, guys, so this is what's happening. We looking good. Mm -hmm. I think it's just about ready. So time to cut up and do the taste test. Oh yeah. Okay guys. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, knife is so sharp. Yes, so this is the finished product. All right, looks good, smells good. Only one test left to do. Okay, all right. Hmm? Let's go. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It helps too that oh, it was a young rabbit. Right? Um, for meat purposes, we don't process any animals older than three months. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you have the the slow cooking process which really keeps the meat tender doesn't dry out too much mm. and constant basting mm -hmm. yeah so the only thing missing for me is the pepper because in general jerk is usually a very spicy affair you know, but I try to keep it neutral, right? So that my children can have some and I don't have to eat all on my own. So, yeah. If I'm being honest, I'm going to have to give this a 7 out of 10. I mean, it looks good. It tastes good. Uh, I, I, I feel like it's missing something. Uh, I'm not quite sure, maybe it's a bit more salt needed, you know, to enhance the flavor a bit. But other than that, quite okay. And obviously, I miss the pepper because I love pepper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so guys, I hope you all enjoyed this little outing with me. Um, definitely um, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, if you enjoy and you're interested in seeing some more cooking videos 
definitely let me know in the comment section so we can make that happen but all in all it wasn't too bad of an outing so we're gonna leave it there for today and i'm gonna get down to some more of this lovely jerk rabbit so sean austin from sean's rabbit and aquaponic produce on behalf of my business partner sean mckee <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>